Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine Tune CB. Hope everybody had a good day today. Mofo and I, yeah we did. I had a busy day, got a lot of stuff done. Figured, well, I'll get a little bit more done. Let's see, what time is it? Uh, I can't see it. It's like going on four. But I added some more stuff like I mentioned in the past. The sideband isn't done. That's, that's still going to be a little while. That, that comes from this port here. And, you know, it takes cables like these. You know, and I got other adapters. And it's kind of a pain. It slows you down. But for the AM, well, it's all going to go into the back of this right here. You might notice a new cable. And by the way, you amp guys or have amps. Stay tuned in to the end of this video. I'll show you something. See it? That T connector, well, another piece is going to connect here, come straight on over to this general area right here to where I can still pull everything out for servicing. It'll be a sturdy piece of L channel or something where a B and C will mount right there. And uh, the back will be soldered on. And something like this can connect or like this can connect or regular you know probes for a volt ohm meter you might be thinking well hey man if you try to check amps or volts or continuity connect to the generator that generator that might be an issue no 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 not at all see this whole thing on the top here is a digital multimeter it's really cool so now that, that will make more sense. When I find a piece of L channel and I find the strength and the energy to get her done, we'll get that done too. But you see, uh, while tuning, modifying, and repairing, and these guys with their dirty soldering irons and don't know what they're doing, get inside these radios, you have to have a way to uh, inject you inject, you know, RF, you inject DC, you inject AC or tone also. So to do that, this is all I have to do. Okay? That turns that on. I had to alter some circuitry and, and make some other circuitry in here to do this. Okay? But it's accomplished. Now when I go to sideband, I have room right here. I'll either have to make an attenuator or possibly utilize this one with a double pull, double throw. So now we can key and view or measure the voltage output as you can see. You've seen in other videos where I've actually used the voltometer to do it, and that's what you have to do. And also, you know. Audio one two three four five six seven. Let me turn that top back down a little bit. Four five six seven eight nine ten. Break audio. Naturally, it's not going to be constant because the human voice isn't constant. But I would imagine if you injected tone straight through the front of this, you'd be able to sweep it because even though when you do this, everything changes. Everything changes. You have to know why it's changing and what to do in accordance. So we could turn that off, and now that's no longer being used at all. You just turn that thing off completely. So what I was gonna wanted to tell some of you amp guys, or even in some other electronics you're dealing with a lot of RF, you guys do it all the time. Probably already do this, but say for instance the fluke. You see those probes? I use tweezers. These things are like really cool. I love the shit out of these. But if you're trying to check your amperage, grounds, common mode, etc. with your amp on keyed, that's when it's most important, you're probably realizing that you're having a hard time getting your readings because of all the stray RF. What you're trying to figure out, you know? So let me pass this along. It's simple, it's cheap. 
you might have to make some of the stuff according to uh, you know your application but I'm going to show it on mine on the amperage even though you wouldn't work on mine on the amperage you take something like this all right, plug it in plug it in this wire is RG58, typically the ones that you buy. You can make your own if you have a crimper and how to solder them all together. And then you have something like this at the ends. You can change these to bigger. And that will stop the majority of the RF from getting into your line and screwing up the reading that you're trying to take. Alright, I hope everybody has a good day. If you learned anything, click subscribe, like, whatever. And be cool. Hard drive 163. Down by the real granity. It's time to saw some logs. Catch y'all later. Click click.